So first, what is APFS? Apple File System. Apple File System. Yeah. So it's Apple's new file system. It's you know we've, we've been rumors about this for years. There was some talk of them adapting um, Sun's ZFS. Uh, system, ZFS. Yeah. yeah. Because there's a whole bunch of advantages to it, but that you know, that didn't work out for a variety of reasons. ZFS is what's then, called a cow file system, which is yes. I think copy on write is what it stands for. But the basic yes. benefits of of these uh, Apple's file system is 30 years old. HFS is 30 years old. Uh, the basic benefit of these newer file systems, Windows doesn't have it, Apple doesn't have it yet, uh, but you could put it on, Li and even Linux, most of the time you don't use it. You might use a cow file system if you use BTRFS uh, or if you use ZFS, and some Linuxes will let you do that, is it'll take snapshots. It's big on data integrity. It, it actually looks at every byte of data and does a, a, a hash on it to make sure that there's no ch no change. So you can kind of, guarantee that your data is intact on the hard drive yeah. it allows you to do great recovery stuff it's just it's for data integrity it's fantastic it's cloning like you said snapshotting there's just all sorts of really really handy things that just make data integrity and data preservation higher priorities than they were on the original file systems and we just we need to we need to kind of join the 21st century yeah. well, also with flash storage are. Yes, they are size of drives so we every system has to trick be tricked to access a terabyte hard drive because the geometry is they just have to lie to it <laughs> the controller says yeah i have a thousand twenty four <laughs> cylinders yeah sure um so that's one problem and now we have ssds and they really don't behave the same way as spinning yep. drives uh encryption is built in yep. i mean i guess that's we've had encryption but even better encryption right um metadata so that if uh during if the power goes out that's what copy on right does if the power goes out uh during a write doesn't matter um, better than journaling. This is like journaling plus. Um, directory sizing is fast. Uh, um, it's just a big. It's a big improvement. Yeah, yeah. But the the the, the, under, the underlying thing is that all this is stuff that you get for free by virtue of the fact that you're running this file system, as opposed to okay, let's have clever clever engineers implement these features on top of the existing file system. It's really it's it's baked right in, and that means that not only is it uh, not not only is it going to be uh, more reliable and also more accessible to more apps, but also if something, God forbid, does go wrong, it's easier to diagnose and fix. So this is just a big win from start to finish and long delayed. It is designed for SSDs, so it kind of makes sense that you'd use it on iOS because all iOS devices are using SSDs. Yeah, also, also iOS is a much more controlled environment, right. and so they could, Apple has Apple has a better idea of how people how developers might screw things up by trying to be <laughs> as clever as Apple's own engineers. So this is this is this is a really good way to let, let, let's start off in the shallow end of the pool before we implement it uh, uh, worldwide on the macOS. Uh, it also it's, supports, it's easier to see target. It supports trim natively and. Uh, uh, does it uh, all the time so when you delete a file or you uh, reclaim you reclaim free space it trims immediately which speeds up the ssd considerably and there's all sorts of theoretical advantages even on ios where things like you know backups the way backups are handled the way cloud backups are handled you can do incremental backups i mean there's just there's significant advantages to switching to this file system even on something like the apple watch which is why i think they're going from their smallest device all the way up to their biggest so they told yeah. us at wwdc that this was coming Yes. Um, I just, I'm surprised it's coming. I just really didn't think that. <laughs> I just, Always coming, but never quite arriving. Yeah, I just thought it was going to be another one of those, you know, promises. And it's not Apple. Uh, I mean, every every company's done this, you know. Uh, Apple teased us with ZFS a couple of years ago. Maybe Apple did. Or storage was yeah. another tease. Yeah. So it was better for bigger drives. you got snapshots, which is really uh, valuable. Backups, uh, much more efficient. Here's this kind of interesting one. Space sharing allows multiple file systems to share the same underlying free space on a physical volume, which I guess would only be valuable if you're using um, a virtual machine or I don't know. I don't know what's I don't know exactly how that would be used. Um, this is this is really, uh, really great. I'm just thrilled to see yeah, this cache coming. Protection, sparse yeah. files. So you did it. Safe. Is your is your phone okay? <laughs> yeah, phone is fine. I mean, like it's. I feel like Yuli. Like you know, we have to take the the the, the punch first, just in case, because you can warn people if there's a problem, or you can reassure them if there's not. Yeah. Um, well. But yeah, it's, it's working fine. Well, <laughs> uh, in this case, I'm not doing it because you're taking the punch. <laughs> yes. So you're taking the punch for me yeah. too. Uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, and again, like this is a way more targeted, way more controlled, way way fewer variable environment to test it on than something like a Mac, where people can do all sorts of things. When like they extension. when they announced this, they they had all these you know big like warnings 
in at, at WWDC because you because developers have been able to you know yep. provisionally do this on their Macs since uh, June. Um, that you know all sorts of uh, uh, you know don't do this, don't do that. Make sure you back up. It can't, it won't work with this. Doesn't work with the Apple uh, file. Uh, you know the uh, AFP. So. Um, and they said 2017 as a bootable file, bootable file system on the Mac OS. The, does the new Mac OS beta have it? I can't tell I because doesn't. it's not in the notes, and I wasn't able to install it because I'm using it right. It would be in the. They would make a deal out of it if it if it did. I would. Yeah, guess. I think you'd see warnings all over the place. Yeah, like this is this is going to be horrible. And I would actually prefer them to test it on something like before they roll it out. At before. WWDC, they promised non-destructive uh, upgrades from HFS Plus to APFS for all boot volumes when it ships. Yeah. Uh, so, um, and and if and if you want to go back, you have to format reformat the hard drive, uh, which will erase <laughs> all your data. But this is like the kind of cool thing that we've been talking about for years, in that there is no obvious next. Like Apple, it. it Apple can't get stuck again because there's no magical operating system and founder to go and get back. They have to move their technology stack forward. And even though they are keeping OS X and iOS very different, sorry, Mac OS and iOS very different on the interface level, there's a whole swath of technology that both of them already share and they can make that technology better. So whether it's Swift or it's Apple file system, they, they can work on these giant projects and roll them out at a multi-platform scale. Uh, and really start to because HFS plus, like you said, Leo, it was it was it was like the MacGyver level of of gum and and toothpicks holding it together, and this really helps them push forward again for another decade. One thing missing uh, that's in ZFS is uh, uh, kind of native low level RAID capabilities. It's one of the reasons I love ZFS is you can easily add a volume and 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 turn on RAID. Uh, Apple says there's it's not there's no file RAID built into APFS, but you can use Apple's own RAID with it. So that's just something that's something that's a little different from ZFS. Yeah. Um, uh, this is this is all uh, you know uh, really good news and something to look forward to. But uh, so uh, let us know <laughs> how it goes. Yes, on the I mean, early days, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, good luck to you. And uh, you. <laughs> help you and the check children. Check to see if my fine. photos are all backwards. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> you know, who knows uh, what's going to happen?